Welcome back to Prime Property. I'm Marissa Turner, and today we're on location at the Bugman with Paul Salvant talking about termite control because it's pretty darn important down here to have good termite control. Now, Paul, tell us what's going on with the termites right now. Well, it's swarm season for Formosan termites right now, mm -hmm. and we're getting a lot of calls in Prairieville. I uh, sat through a seminar last week where they're extremely heavy in the Blue Bonnet area off of uh, the interstate. Uh, we've always known they've been in Prairieville for the last 20 years. So mm -hmm. get a lot of calls for those guys right now. Now I can attest that termites live in Prairieville because a couple of years ago we actually had termites in our house and we have a new home, you know. Mm -hmm. It was it had been originally treated and everything else. Uh, we you go out and treat the slab and all that kind of thing. But we was in between pest control and we had some termites come eat up in our laundry room because they love that moisture and all that. So what do we do? We called the bug man and they came out and um, you check the wall, right? Drill the little things in the concrete and in the ground and right. all that kind of stuff, and you have come out and what is it every uh, every six months, every six months yes. uh, to come out and double check. And our guy just came the other day and checked. And not only did he check to make sure that all the stakes and everything else were in proper working order and all that kind of thing, but he double checked my wall where the termites had been before, and we were a okay in the clear. And that really made me happy because termites will eat your house. Yes. <laughs> if you have a moisture problem, you're going to get problems. Yeah. Uh, bottom line, you're just inviting them to your house. And, you know, mm -hmm. the amount of rain that we get. Uh, and we've had plenty. Yes. And it's all the more critical to control any water rot or soffits that have rotted. It's very, very critical you repair your home. Absolutely. You know, we go out to a lot of homes and the termites have bypassed our barriers and gotten into the moisture areas mm -hmm. of the home. So it's very critical, keeping the shrubs cut back, mm -hmm. keeping the slab exposed where you can see four inches of your slab. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very critical you do that. And if you don't, you're gonna get them. That's right. That's just part of home ownership in the South you got to maintain a good termite contract. Right, and the technicians that come out also look for those kinds of things and will tell the homeowner, hey, by the way, your hedges have gotten too close here or any of that. And that kind of customer service makes people very happy with the bug man. Correct. Now correct. tell us about your award that you just got. Well, we were very proud of, uh, we went to Atlanta, uh, my wife and I and my daughter and my termite supervisor, and there were about 200 companies uh, at this convention, and we were recognized as the third leading company nationally of retaining our customers with Centricon for the last 10 years. Uh, we had a rating of a 97.7% of the customers that we put on the last 10 years have stayed with us. Mm -hmm. That's very exceptional. Yeah. And, uh, so that shows we're doing our job. Absolutely. Not only are you doing your job and doing it right, but you've got the customer service as well that are That's making correct. people happy because um, you, there's a lot of pest control companies in the south yes but people are sticking with the bug man because you take care of us <laughs> well and we service over nine thousand customers mm -hmm. you know we service all the way from new orleans to lake charles mm -hmm. and our base hub is ascension in baton rouge i'd say over 60 percent of my customers are just in that area mm -hmm. but we have a wide service area that we serve we have over 30 trucks on mm -hmm. the road so we've got uh, quite a big crew mm -hmm. and a great crew it is too because they come out to the house they check everything let you know about trouble spots that might be happening that you can take care of do some preventative maintenance before those termites come in because once they come in they can do damage pretty quickly before you figure out they're there Formosan termites usually within three months mm -hmm. after they've got into the home they'll do structural damage mm -hmm. and so that's all the more reason to stay on top of a good contract on your home and mm -hmm. I, I for one you know, they, they say you can't teach an old dog new tricks. And I was at a home in Prairieville, this was last year, and they had some Formosan termites in the washroom. And I said, we were backed up two weeks mm -hmm. on treatments. So that's mm -hmm. the earliest I could get to it. We went back in two weeks, and they'd moved from the washroom over to the main formal dining room into the uh, living room also in two weeks. Yeah. That's how fast they move. They're quick and little they, critters. They eat quick. Yeah. Yes, so. they do. Now, uh, they aren't the only critter in the, uh, in the bunch down here in South Louisiana. We have lots and lots of critters to get. And you have critter getters who come and get things that don't need to be around my house. <laughs> Tell us I've about got, what y'all do. You know, we've got a combination of things. You know, I've got Joseph. Uh, he's my uh, nuisance animal control expert. 
He does the raccoons. He does snakes. He does any four-legged varmint, we mm -hmm, call them. Mm -hmm. uh, we trap them. Uh, you know, out in Ascension Parish, we get a lot of raccoons. Mm -hmm. uh, Especially so we, in attics and stuff. Yes, yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. And we, we've got traps. In fact, I've got a couple of men with traps out today trying to catch some raccoons. Mm -hmm. uh, so we do that. You know, we're with them shutting off the funding for Livingston Parish for the mosquito control. There's a tremendous mosquito problem. Yes. So we do a lot of the mosquito misting systems and we install the systems in the rear patio areas and we're doing a lot of that. And and again with a mosquito misting system it, it enables you to enjoy your back patio <laughs> in back. the evenings yeah instead of being walled in and screened in and everything yes. else um, and the mosquito misting systems we've talked about those before but they they run a little bit uh, at dusk and dawn that's correct and usually takes care of the problems but if you have if you if you're seeing something outside you can hit the little button and take care of it correct. it's good to go. Most people that have them they won't live without them again. Oh yeah. You know, once you have the system in and get it installed, I've had customers move from their house to another house. There's no question, put it in my new house. Yeah. I've got customers that have camps on Diversion Canal. Oh, can't have, live with that, yeah, without they, it. <laughs> they said, go put it in. Mm -hmm. They've got places at Falks River. Mm -hmm. and, and we've gone all the way to Monroe and put them in at uh, resort houses up in Monroe. Absolutely. So once you get used to them going off and the mosquitoes not lighting you up when you walk in the backyard, mm -hmm. you, you want it. Absolutely, you know? and it's also safe for pets and everything else, yes. and, and yes. it won't bother you if you got your outdoor kitchen out there and That's everything. That's correct. Good That's to go. Correct. You can actually enjoy it. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> okay, now we talked about the termites, we talked about the mosquitoes, we talked about the nuisance animals. What else we got, fire ants? Well, fire ants with all the rain we've been having. Yeah. Good gracious. I mean, uh, you know, we've got 14 inches of rain mm -hmm. uh, in Prairieville, and Gonzales had 18 inches. Well, it caused a bunch of swarms of fire ants because yeah. it they pushes them up. up out of the ground. Yep. So we've been getting bombarded with calls for these guys. Mm -hmm. uh, that's at their time of the year. We, You know, another thing is the flying wasp. No. You know, we're getting calls for mm -hmm. that where they're building up the nest around the soffits and the eaves and the people are just minding their own business and get stung by the wasp. Mm -hmm. So part of our perimeter treatments that we do on the homes on a quarterly basis, we take care of that. Mm -hmm. You know, and plus the spiders. You know, the spiders have gotten to be uh, a real problem. The brown recluse, uh, not as bad as, you know, you read, he, he's really the bad guy uh -huh. in Louisiana when it comes to spiders. Mm -hmm. But uh, your brown widow spider is a newcomer, uh -huh. and we seem to think he came in from Hurricane Katrina because mm -hmm. they're they're most just about every house we go to has got these guys. Yeah. So uh, that's a new species of insect that we didn't have before Katrina. Mm -hmm. So uh, that and you know they they'll bite you. They're just as venomous. All spiders are venomous, mm -hmm. uh, but this particular guy, he's pretty common at the house now. They used to not be. Yeah. You know, so uh, we have to be, really be checking real close because they get in the weird spots, you know, up in the corners of the eaves and sometimes they'll get into the garage door. You know what I like about spiders? They don't live in my house. You know why? I got the bug man. I understand. <laughs> I've seen one spider in my house in the last, uh, I don't even know how long, and look, I hate spiders. I looked at it, I go to smush it, it was already dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, okay, I can handle the already dead one. <laughs> right, right. It's called bugs are bugging, you call the bug man. That's right, yeah. absolutely. Let's give everybody the information. Of course, we have the website right here at the bottom of the screen, but um, there's different ways that you can contact. We've got the Baton Rouge office and the Gonzales office. Yes, yes. Most of our Eat Cell folks are going to be calling the Gonzales office. Yes. Let's give them that number. 644-8429. There you go. And I still make house calls. You, mm -hmm. know, you know, if you have a problem, I personally take care of a lot of stuff. Uh, I have Big Jamie. He's been with me 28 years. He's my manager at the Gonzales office, and he mm -hmm. handles a lot of stuff for me. And I've got Joseph does nuisance animal control out of Gonzales. And I have Douglas, who's been with me about two years. So mm -hmm. we've kind of grown. When we first started Gonzales, we had just myself and Jamie. Mm -hmm. We've got two other men over there and a secretary now. There so you go. we're growing. Yeah, that's right. Ascension Parish loves the bug man and you'll find out why when you get yourself a contract, whether for termites or the quarterly pest control or do both because it's fantastic, the service that you guys have. And they run specials from time to time. You can come on in and ask. Um, you're doing a thing with the movie tickets right now, right? Yes. If you go to the Malco Theater in Gonzales, if you watch a movie, 
call me and start a maintenance pest service, you get a free movie. There you and, go. And uh, that's something uh, they're they're running that on the screens also. So it's a good deal. Yeah, we'll have it on our website as well at primepropertytv.com.